This is part 3 of how to put DVDs on the PSP for free. To view part 1, browse through my videos and find part 1. Now we are going to use the profile that we just created and apply it to the file that DVD Shrink made so that we'll make an MP4 video file that the PSP can read. On the left hand side, click on Convert. Then, click on Transcode New Video. Now we'll have to find this video where DVD Shrink put it. Click on My Computer, and then go down through the directories until you found it. I put it in D. Now you see Joe Somebody. Click on that in my situation. Then click on the Video underscore TS folder. And then inside you should find your video file. Click on that. Now you're going to want to name this the title of your DVD so that when it's on your PSP you know what video it is if you click on it. This is great if you have more than one video. Now just click start and it will start converting your video. Now if you notice there's a progress bar and a percentage mark on the right hand side. Don't pay any attention to these because they are not accurate and once it gets to a hundred percent it can hang there for as long as a couple hours. So don't think that your computer locked up just because it stays at 100%. After a couple hours, it should get done. Two hours later, and the transcode is complete. It could take longer if you have a slower computer than mine. Now on the left hand side, select copy. Then, change the SP folder over by my computer to AVC folder then by the my PSP change it from SP folder to AVC folder just like on my computer now you will see that I already have a bunch of video files on my PSP for you it'll all be blank now back over on the my computer side you should see the video file that you just transcoded click on it and then near the bottom there are two options copy video to PSP or move video to PSP copy video PSP will leave the video file on your computer and move it to your PSP so then you have two move video to PSP will delete it on your computer so that it saves space and the only video will be on your PSP now after about 10 minutes this will be moved okay a little bit longer a couple more seconds and it's done now over on the right hand side you can see that it moved it over and it's only a measly 335 megabyte so you could almost get three full-length videos on a gigabyte memory stick at www.thegizmoshack.com just go to the contact page and let me know what you would like a tutorial of with my custom-made tutorials I can help you out with your PSP your iPod or even help you fix your computer problems that way if you have the same computer problem over and over you don't have to pay someone repeatedly. So go to my website, check it out, www.thegizmoshack.com.